Hi everyone and welcome back to Diamond Delight. Really excited for you guys today. We have an unboxing. It's been a little bit since I last did one. And we have it from the company Art Dot. So haven't opened it yet. It's fresh out of the mail. It just came yesterday. And Art Dot reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try a few of their products. So I'm gonna be unboxing one of their diamond paintings today. I also got a storage system from them so I'll be opening that in a future video as well but anyways I'm going to be starting with the actual diamond painting today um, this company so far I've seen two different paintings on their website so I'm hoping that they're gonna be adding more to the collection right now they have a rainbow rose painting and a rainbow-ish butterfly type painting so um, I got the butterfly painting. It is the advanced kit, which means that it's a bit bigger. It's got more colors to it. And I believe it's a round drill painting as well. I don't think they offer square at the moment, but maybe it will be something that they'll do in the future. Shipping was incredibly fast. So they confirmed on Wednesday that they had uh, shipped out the product and I got it two days later on Friday. So super, super quick shipping. I live in the United States, so I'm not sure if you live in a different country if that would be impacted, but already from the shipping, I was super impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and take out that packaging. And I like that they come in this rolled cylinder. Super nice, just means it's not gonna have a bunch of creases and folds to it. And it just has a description here. So again, I got the butterfly picture. I can kind of give you a little bit of a preview there. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but you'll see it better once I open it up. I did clarify with them that their artwork is licensed. They let me know they pay their artists for using their artwork. So um, great to make sure that they're just being ethical about everything. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take off that plastic wrap. Really nice, sturdy box. Not gonna get creased or bent with any kind of um, getting tossed around in shipping or anything. And again, this is the advanced kit. So it also came in beginner. Let me see if I can get a few more details for you. It's cool actually on their website, they list both the sizes, the amount of normal diamonds, the amount of AB diamonds, and the amount of total diamonds. So let's see, for a beginner kit, that's gonna be 20 inches by 10 inches. It's got 33 normal diamonds, two AB diamonds for a total of 20,100 diamonds. This one is the advanced kit. So this one says it's 26 by 13 inches, 32 normal diamonds, three AB diamonds. So you get an extra AB with the advanced, that's always a bonus. And the total amount is almost 35,000 diamonds. So that's always cool. I know sometimes I'll do the math and <laughs> say, okay, this much by this much inches, this many um, diamonds in this amount of square inches and I'll kind of just for fun, see how many diamonds I've placed. But this one tells you right off the bat so you don't have to do that calculation. And then they have a quick little instruction guide and then just kind of some more descriptions there. So it includes the canvas, the diamonds, the pen, the tray, wax. Ooh, color code stickers, cool. I always like having the stickers there. And then two freestyle stickers. I've seen that they have stickers on their website, so maybe they include a free one in there, could be. Just gonna go ahead and pop that top off. This is a cool storage kit and then you could easily put it back in here if you're working on it and trying to transport it somewhere else. So that's really cool too. This canvas looks really nice just from a first impression standpoint. We got all our drills in the middle there. Our toolkit. Beautiful, vibrant colors to this canvas. Let's see. I'm not sure if I'm getting it all in frame, but I'll try my best. This is really, really pretty and super clear from what I can see already. Let me go ahead and start by measuring it. So let's see, it says it's 26 by 13 inches. So I'm just going to measure one end to the other and see if they mean the canvas or the actual painting. Yeah, right around 26 inches, just shy. And going down, exactly 13 inches, perfect. So yeah, that size description is talking about the actual drill area, not the whole canvas. Canvas has got these nice scallop borders with that perforation, so you know it's not gonna unravel or unroll or anything. The back of it kind of has that soft texture. It's nice and foldable. It doesn't feel like it's just like a stiff piece of paper or anything like that. Let me go ahead and see what the actual adhesive feels like. 
got good stick to it. From the looks of it, it looks like this is um, adhesive rather than poured glue. I don't have too much of a preference. I know some people prefer the poured glue, but that looks like it's going to stick just fine. I'm taking a look to see if I see any rivers. There's just some, some creases from that top layer of the adhesive, but I'm not seeing the actual canvas under, underneath have any puckerings or anything. Yeah, I don't see any rivers, no bubbling. That adhesive looks really secure, not seeing any issues there. They also do have that key on either side of the canvas, so that's really helpful too. They provide it right here as well. So I'll just bring it closer so you can see. They've got the number of the, the DMC number of the drill with the corresponding number on the actual canvas. Really convenient that these are in little stickers, so you can just peel that sticker off, place it directly on um, your drill storage system, and you don't have to waste time writing all that down. And the actual little picture of the um, diamond penny is also a sticker, so that's really fun whether you just want to stick that on a water bottle to use as a decoration, or if you have um, a journal or you keep track of your diamond paintings, you can just stick that in there. It's really nice to have that option. These ones, I'm wondering why these ones have an extra box around them. Oh, you know what? Those might be the, those might be the AB drills. Um, I'll check in on that later, but I think they're, they're kind of highlighting and showing you which diamonds are the extra sparkly AB drills. Um, for those of you that don't know, that's Aurora Borealis. So those drills just have an extra little metallic-y sparkle to them. They're really pretty. So going through the actual symbols, they're very clear. Just looking to make sure there's enough contrast between each of the letters in the background. Some of them, you know, are a little bit dark, but nothing too crazy. Let's see. Yeah, the key looks really nice. Let me take a look at the actual canvas. I'm gonna peel back some of that adhesive so that we can take a closer look. Yeah, I'd say maybe, let's see. There is a five in red and an S in red as well. I would say, you know, maybe my feedback would be if you had made like the six in red and then the, the five could have been a different color just because I could see how you could get these mixed up. That five does have a white circle around it. So I think I'll have an easy enough time telling them apart, but just something you kind of want to be aware of when you're looking through them. Otherwise, yeah, they're using a combination of primarily letters and numbers. There is a hashtag or pound sign, <laughs> depending on uh, what you call it nowadays. See that B is a little bit dark inside that circle, but there's not really another letter you might mix it up with. Maybe the R, the R and the, and the K are both kind of dark, but I'm being kind of picky. I'm not looking at it under um, a light pad under it, so I'm sure it would be easier with a light pad under it, but I can see clear enough that's a K, that's a G. There's the B. I'm trying to see if there's any Bs and Rs next to each other. I'm getting into the darker part of the canvas. Still really nice and easy to see these. Just make sure you have good lighting. Okay, there we go, there's an R. Very easy to tell the Bs from the Rs. The Rs have a very uh, light circle around them, so no problem at all. I'd say just probably the hardest one is gonna be that five versus the six, but really only used on this left side of the canvas, so I'll just be extra careful when I'm over there, use a light pad, make sure I have um, my glasses on and we should be fine. The overall clarity of the canvas looks pretty good. It's not a huge, huge diamond painting. Again, it's 26 by 13 inches, so I'm not expecting anything crazy just because the smaller they are, the harder it is to not get that pixelated look to them. Um, so yeah, I expect there's gonna be some pixelation. It's not gonna be crystal clear, but that's to be expected with this size diamond painting. Um, obviously the bigger you go, the bigger you produce the paintings, then the clearer you can get. So um, yeah, I'll be interested to see when I actually fill it out, how all the blending and shading looks like, but at least, um, especially in this blue area, the, these, this nice gradient out of the wings looks really nice. The green looks nice. I'd say maybe a little, less gradient, more contrast over here. But, um, you know, if we look at the actual picture, there is that contrast in those those butterflies as well. So yeah, I'm really excited and curious to see what this will look like once it's filled in with the drills. Speaking of drills, let's take a look at those. So they just came in this package all rolled up on the inside of the canvas. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and undo the crinkly paper. I'll mute it so you don't have to hear that. These colors are looking gorgeous so far. I'm gonna just go ahead and check off on the inventory list that 
all of the different drills are accounted for. They don't list quantity, but um, I'm just gonna make sure all the numbers and colors are here. Okay, all, all drills were accounted for, and it actually made it really easy to check because you can see I was starting to make check marks as I went through, because sometimes these can be out of order, or if they send them in separate baggies, those can be out of order. But these were actually all like in a line, in alignment with how they're listed here. So it was really easy to just go through and make sure I had all of them. They're all here. And yeah, these special little kind of rainbow gradient stickers, those do symbolize the AB drills. So that's kind of cool, um, just to kind of make a special denotation of them. And they're beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys what they look like up close. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and show you guys what the different colors look like. So got obviously some really nice pinkish purples, getting into the blues. Look at these beautiful three different shades of orange to yellow. That's gonna make for a really nice gradient. A nice vibrant green. Lots of colors that really pop. So you're gonna see a lot of purple in there. There's one of our ABs, so you can see how it has a little extra sparkle to it. That's gorgeous. Just a few of those. Some natural brown colors, beautiful reds. Here's another AB. Gorgeous sparkle to that yellow. I'm super excited to use these. These look beautiful. And then some beautiful purples in there too. Some nice greens. Really nice deep blue color. Nice pink variations. Those will blend together really nicely as well. Ooh, I love these different shades of green. Really dark navy blue there. Bright orange. Really, really bright, vibrant colors, which makes sense considering it's butterflies. It's kind of like a rainbow effect. So um, I think these are really going to pop and be a lot of fun to work with. So many different purples and blues throughout. Here's our third AB color. That is gorgeous. I don't know if you can fully see um, the iridescent sheen on that, but that's such a beautiful color. And then one more yellow. I flipped the canvas over just to see if I could kind of get an idea of where those AB drills are. So one of those symbols is number nine. And let's see, that was the greenish one. You can see this light green nine here. So that's gonna be a really pretty effect. It's just on the tips of these butterflies. Um, let's see, mainly right here. I see it actually, the nine there, some here. So it's gonna be like a little sheen just to the edges of their wings. And then the other one is four. That was one that we just had a little bit of. Um, here's a four there. Oh, some more in the green. Oh, that's gonna be really pretty. So some of the greens have it um, kind of throughout the wings and then a different green on the tips of the wings for that iridescent AB drill. And then the bag that had a lot of them, the most recent one I showed you was P. Ooh, so this is gonna be kind of all throughout the blue. You can see it's all sparkled along the edges there. Some in here. Yeah, actually lots of ABs on, the, on these blue ones. So that's gonna be really fun to actually get to use quite a bit of that sparkle there. Okay, let's go ahead and check out their toolkit. Cute little sticker to seal it. Go ahead and open. Cute. Yeah, so they ended up, they did give some of those stickers. So this, I was looking on their website. I believe you can peel off the back of this. So obviously there's the adhesive to stick the drills to the actual piece of paper. But I believe this is actually a sticker too. I kept on trying and was able to get that backing off to confirm that it is a sticker, so it's sticky on both sides. The actual paper is see-through, so you won't get any of that white showing through on the background. So fun, you could stick that on your water bottle, on your computer. Super, super cute idea, and they just give that to you for free. You don't have to pay extra for that, so it's really cute. I'm wondering if you just pick whatever colors you want or if these maybe correspond to colors on the actual canvas. It is a butterfly and a flower, so it's very fitting with the theme of the canvas, but I'm not sure if it was just random or not or if everybody gets these with this kit. Such a cute tray. Okay, I've never actually had one of these before that has the little kind of funnel lip on that, so I'll be really interested to try this. Um, you know, it's definitely on the smaller side. The one I use is, you know, usually like this size. But for coming with the kit and not being like an extra accessory, this is a very high quality tray, I would say. It's got nice high sides. It's got that really nice funnel so that after you shake out your diamonds, you can just pour it right back into your um, tray really easily. I love the little blue theme they've got going on here. This pen is so cute. It's got little sparkles on it. It's a small touch, but it's, it's nice to just kind of have something interesting and new from that typical pink color that you tend to get with your diamond paintings. Got a little grip. That's super nice. Cute. 
And then we've got that beautiful little wax. I love again that it's blue. Usually these things come in pink, so it's really fun to have um, that different aesthetic to it. Oh my gosh, and then they give you washi tape too. That is so cute. I love this pattern too. It's a really beautiful like tree, kind of eucalyptus leaf vibe. And so what you would use this for, if you're not used to using washi tape, is you can actually peel the tape, make kind of like a um, grid across your diamond painting, and then you can cut out and do little squares as you go. So that's super helpful. I've never seen a diamond, paint, a diamond painting kit come with these, and that's really sweet and thoughtful that they gave it, and especially that it's a cute pattern. A lot of times, you know, I, I bought a cheap pack that's just like plain orange, plain blue, etc. but this one is actually like a really cute pattern. And then um, on the other side, they have a multi-placer. This one looks like it's probably a three multi-placer. Um, we'll have to see. I'll try it out a little bit and see how many drills fit in there. But I would say this is definitely a better than average quality toolkit. Usually they'll give you the standard green tray that doesn't have the funnel. They'll give you wax and they'll give you a pen. But um, having that other tip on the side is really nice. Having the washi tape and having these cute little stickers is just a really nice little touch to just put in that extra little thought there. Looking at the key, I don't think that these numbers correspond to any particular drill on here, right? Because this symbol isn't even actually on the key. So I think really just, you could just do whatever drills call to you for this particular sticker. Um, whether it's leftover drills from this kit, or I'm sure if you have random drills lying around from another kit, you could put them on here. So just a super cute little added touch there. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the quality of some of these drills. So this one actually doesn't have any black drills, the 310, which I think is probably my first time getting a diamond painting kit that doesn't have black in it. Kind of a cool mix up to see that it's all just vib very vibrant, nice colors. But let's see, let's start with, um, I feel like light drills, it's very easy to see flaws on them. So let me just go ahead and start with this light yellow here. Just gonna cut that apart, try out this new tray too. So I'm just going to pour them out here. Let's see how this drill tray does. I think these drills might be a little bit staticky. Either that or I'm still just kind of getting used to using this new tray. Honestly, the tray itself might be a little staticky, but I'll get some dryer sheets. I'll kind of um, swipe them around a little bit and that should help. But you see how they're kind of jumping up, up and about like that? It's a little hard to use, but I still like the tray. It's still pretty cool. Let's take a look. Yeah, I don't know how well you guys can see the drills, but they look pretty good to me. Not seeing any excessive tabs or anything. And let me just practice. Again, I've never used one of these funnel trays before. Let me cut the tab all the way off this bag. I'll cut it up later. Nice, that's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, a little bit of spillage again these there's definitely some static going on you can see where they're like stuck to the sides there so i probably just need to get a dryer sheet and run it along the edges just so that these guys aren't all sticking here most of the time at this point i will use my own tray anyways so it's not like a huge make or break um the tray that they give me in these kits but if you are a beginner it is going to be most likely what you'll be using that or a small tray from another kit so yeah i'd say i like the design of this tray in terms of the funnel um maybe slightly prefer the green tray just because this one does seem to be a little harder to shake in and out but again i might just need some practice using it so i'll report back if i change my mind after a little bit of time okay let's try a darker color the darks tend to be in my opinion, a little more troublesome sometimes. And actually this time I wanna shake part of them out on this tray and then part into my normal tray just so I can get a good idea. So let's do some onto here and we'll do some onto my normal. And I'll just kind of show you guys. So this one, for example, yeah, I just got a little bit more movement. I think I've just gotten so used to using a big tray that it's just easier for me. This one, I mean, it definitely works. It definitely does the job 
honestly i think it's just that i'm used to the small tray so i'm just like this is hard to use okay let's take a look yeah i'm not seeing any any big flaws with these diamonds maybe one or two misshapen ones nothing too crazy let's take a look with the white background sometimes that's easier to see That one has a little extra tab around it, so I'll probably take that one out. I'm usually pretty picky with my drills, so I'll kind of go through them and take out any uneven ones that I see. This one's got a little tab too, right here. Take that one out. I'll even go in with a light from the bottom just to really analyze them because I like to do that. Yeah, I'd say these dark ones, they do have a little bit of tabs. Um, I don't know if I'd say it's anything out of the norm, but just know most diamond painting kits you will have some trash not seeing much on this set so overall pretty good and now i can use this actually the cute washi tape they gave me to reseal these bags for now and in fact i'll probably end up using that storage kit that they gave me once i open it there we go and let's see how our funnel guy does i mean this is a funnel too but this is just has a little top on it so it's kind of fun I'd say the angle's a little interesting, but in theory, I feel like it probably would keep diamonds from spilling better because you have that little lip on the side. Let me know, you guys, if you use this kind of tray, what are your tips for whoop, not having that happen? <laughs> oh, interesting. There's like a little line here that it kind of gets stuck on. Do you see that? Like, there's a line right here. It's like a lip, and this, there, I had to kind of pop it out, but... Maybe I am doing it wrong. Like, see, okay, see how it has this lip right here? Am I supposed to do it a different way? Am I supposed to like fully turn it? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. But then I lost that diamond too. Anyways, I'm at a little bit, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to, how to best use this guy. Please send tips your way because that guy, I want to learn how to use him a little bit better. Okay, I think I've recovered all lost drills for that one okay let's talk about prices so um this is the advanced kit but i'm going to talk about the beginner kit again the beginner kit is smaller it has less diamonds it's listed on their website right now as 29.99 but it says it's on sale right now for well rounding up 10 bucks i don't know if they're um always having a sale or if that's just right now there's something special going on but yeah, right now they actually have got yeah, 67% off, it says. So the beginner you can get for 10 bucks, that's really good. The advanced kit, so that's this one, which is bigger, has more diamonds, has um, one more AB drill. That one is normally about 40 bucks. Right now it's going for 16 bucks. That is a pretty good price, especially for the quality of this canvas. Again, it's not poured glue. I think it is that double-sided adhesive, so that's probably why it can um, be a little bit cheaper. But honestly, for all the accessories you get, for the quality of it so far, I would say that's pretty a pretty good price there. Let's see, shipping. It says there's free shipping on orders, $25 or more. So that's great. You can buy, you know, two dime paintings or dime painting and an accessory, and you'll get that shipping for free. And then for uh, orders under $25, it looks like it's $5 for shipping. So really not bad at all. Again, I'm in the United States, so it may be different just depending on where you are. And then shipping, it says two to five business days, again, for depending on where you are. This one came in two days, so it was super, super fast. So overall, very impressed with the price, um, shipping speed, customer service, quality, colors, um, extra little touches that they added in. Um, definitely excited to get started with this. I know I was chatting with my boyfriend and he was like, I want to help. So we'll probably actually end up working on this one together, which will be a lot of fun. So even if they're not having that sale, um, they did say if I tried out this kit, they would offer me a discount code. So I'm going to look into that a little bit. I haven't set it up yet, but hopefully by the time this video is posted, I can post that link for you guys. And then, um, if you want to use that link to get a discount, go ahead. If not, if you just want to look around, feel free. But yeah, I did give this an unbiased review just because that's what I'll always do. I'll always say what I think on my end. And yeah, I think my points of feedback would just be that the S and the five symbol, I would just switch something up, either put that on a different number or put this on a different letter or do something slightly different just because I think those two were the ones that were a little bit confusing. Um, and then potentially the drill tray. It might be just 
user error that I just need to get used to using it, but maybe a slightly different funnel system. And honestly, if those are my only two pieces of objection or constructive feedback, that's pretty good because everything else I was completely wowed by um, in terms of the quality, what's included, the shipping, everything just really was top notch. So super impressed with this company so far. Really, really excited to open up their storage kit, which I'm going to try next. So stay tuned for that one. I'll post that for you guys soon as well. All right. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.